Hi. Alright, so let's get started with the video. Bad Trump Bills? Really? We're back at that again. Alright, so the bigots in South Dakota apparently passed a bill allowing them to molest young girls. Oh, since we know this isn't going to be used against trans men, we can put that out and away. Why? Trans men are not a threat to, um, old, white, CIS, gendered men, which is who is doing this. How do we know this? Well, in a state where 50% of the state, it's 49 and change percent, are women, only 13% are represented in the legislature. That's right. It's not even a quarter. The state population to representation is not even two to one. It's more than that. Which means women are severely underrepresented. And guess what? Is it any surprise? In governmental systems where women are underrepresented, that the LGBTQ community, including transgender, ends up being underrepresented as well, and even bigoted against? So, yes. Young children are now being threatened with molestation. More importantly, young girls. Why do I say that? What? I mean, we're talking about transgender. No. Transgender are the supposed target audience, but even um, uh, even in the most preferential situations, you will always find significantly more cisgendered females. So, target the girls' restroom. Let's say, for argument's sake, a balance number one in one thousand. One in 200, whatever you want. That means they have to go through 999 other young girls before they finally get that one transgender girl. And you're telling me this is guaranteeing security of whom? I don't think so. This is old white men doing what they do well. They did it for ages in the Catholic Church, molesting young boys. Don't give me this crap. And meanwhile, the rest of the country is like, oh, it's okay, they're protecting our children. From what? The boogeyman? And this is South Dakota. I'm not saying there aren't transgender children there. But they are far less likely to be there and to actually be doing these things than they would in cases like New York City, where they feel more free to do them. So, basically, what you end up having is a free pass for all white men to molest young girls. Hmm, where have we seen this acting out before? I don't think this is good. And really, I think this should be dealt a, a, right the governor of South Dakota. Let him know this should end at his desk. This fantasy should be killed. Bottom line. We need to. And we need to represent those kids good. Otherwise, really, what are we doing? Alright, so, bathroom bill, bad. Transness, good. And rainbow transness, very good. Ooh. 
Uranus, Venus, wait, I'm going the wrong direction, ain't I? Oh, I have no idea anymore. Anyhow, while I'm flicking through video filters, and you're watching this video madly go back and forth through different phases, Hi. It's kinda cool actually. Ooh. Seventies. Alright, anyway, um Right, so it's sort of it's a disturbing trend and there's no other way to put it. You can't be nice or kind with this. You have to be honest and here we go. Rainbow. Time for some pride. I, you have to be blunt with this. This film represents nothing but going after young girls. And we need to end this. And we need to end legislation that promotes this. We need to end legislation that promotes taking away rights from women. I think that's basically it in a nutshell. Night.